Alright, so this is how to set up a RD, R, Remote Desktop Gateway Manager Authorization uh, Rules. point of this is so that one company does not interfere or accidentally connect to another company's uh, cloud server or remote desktop server or terminal, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to start here. We've already made groups in AD. I'm just going to do create a new policy wizard. This is the RD Gateway Manager on the Gateway server. So we're just going to do new policy wizard. Um, RD cap and wrap is what we're doing. Um, so we're going to name this one the name of the company. Um, dash RD cap so we know and what this is doing is we're now going to choose the group that is allowed to connect so in this case the users group we created is allowed to connect we'll, we'll enable everything all the redirection is allowed we could shut things off if we want to disable certain things like clipboard or printers. We could do idle timeouts. We just never set this up. Now we do the the RD wrap, which is what they're allowed to connect to. This stays the same. And this is where we choose the second group. What this group has in it is the uh, the servers that are going to be used for them specifically. So in this case, only their servers in that group. And we just go next, next, next. And that is uh, pretty much it. The policy is in place. They can now connect. As long as the users and the computer is in the correct group that we just chose.